especially with how last episode ended i had to rock some of my own this i'm not gonna lie to you guys some of you guys are constantly asking me where i get my t-shirts my merch i cannot find amazing black clover merch there needs to be more black clover merch hashtag more merch but it's come on man What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Black Clover, episode 81. This one's called The Life of a Certain Man. I don't know if it's going to give us more backstory or if it's... I have no idea what's going to happen. I do know the next episode after this is going to be one of the only true, true fillers. I know there's some filler in the show. I'm going to watch the vast majority of it, but I'm almost positive the next episode is a Petite Clover specific filler like it's only a petite clover style animation so i might skip that one just a pre-warning for you guys if you guys are before you comment where's 82 why is it 81 83 that's why just letting you guys know last episode with langris and finral oh my god we need dr owens to come fix finral right away i am so nervous and scared for him my man langris is uh nah and then he's getting like nah and then like we're getting the feelings of the eye of the midnight sun and shit like i'm so perplexed at that and i need to know what's going on i'm about to just find out don't forget if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows i'm watching we are four episodes ahead on patreon links are in the description down below for you guys don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know exactly when i post over here on the dapper channel and don't forget to follow me on all the social medias instagram twitch twitter and tiktok all at dapper darius i say we hop right on into this black clover episode 81 the life of a certain man. Everyone gets into position. Boom. Oh, man. I'm getting chills just knowing what happens again. Oh, thank the Lord. They honor me by showing me this again. <laughs> Forget the match. We'll kill you. I had to rewatch this part at least 10 times. I can't even lie to you guys. Yes. Thank the Lord, Julius. Put a stop to this. He has his chronostasis out ready and everything. <laughs> oh, I wish you could. Fax! A true magic knight. Hell of Asta. Asta's never been afraid to speak his mind. Whoa, you gotta. And he's fully ready to kill Asta with that right there. That would have killed him. But. Yes, Julius, what are you going to do? Okay. Okay, I agree. Oh, wow. <laughs> Savage. Asta of the Black Bulls. Ooh, we're giving each other the official titles and everything. This is gonna be an official match. Let's let's do this right now. Okay. And he froze him. Julius really did step in. I do like how the other spatial magic, even though it's the same type, like a spatial magic, looks very different. Like his happens to be a door versus just Finneral's, it's just like a little circle portal. I really like the differences. Oh, no killing. It's not about killing. Langris. He's still in the same position. Yeah, Mimosa would have noticed this too because she's also on the Golden Dawn. And so it's unwillingly. Not a spell. It's something ancient that like we really don't even understand, you know? Oh, 
And we're getting a little clue into that with Langris right now. Maybe it is Langris, you know? Okay, so we had an underlying goal with this, which I like. Good. Bring some shit to the light. True, true. Hey. It would be dangerous if he wasn't there. He can stop anything. So far, that's what I'm thinking. This is not what I was expecting. Them to just cut right to this match, but hey, I'm all here for it. You're going on straight on the offense. Also going on the offensive. Too offensive. Okay. Ooh. I'm so glad Austin. Yes, especially after working with Magnus, these would probably be way easier to hit. But if any of them hit you, I'm saying it's gonna fucking tear you apart. Yeah, Finn Royal. You gotta keep watch. You gotta get up so you can watch us, man. Come on. I do remember that. From the pompous way he grew up and was raised, I can see why you think that. <laughs> okay, Asta, just use your Uno reverse card like that. Everyone's worried about Asta. Real. Leopold. Klaus. Yeah, this man's just observing. I need to know what's going on in his head. He's a, He lets on way less than he actually knows. He knows so much and his... Marx is right. His intuition is nuts. Yeah, he's... It's worn off, because it's been a little bit since his match with Kirsch. Yeah, he was going to save it for a fight against Yuno. <laughs> As he comes in and does it with the trap card reverse spell. <laughs> mm-hmm. Come on, you like Asta. It's gonna be a little bit before you. More bad in the life of a certain man? Zara? Oh, the stink bug thing he even did to Asta. <laughs> yeah, he was a jokester. Zora-san. <laughs> <laughs> Behind the scenes, Super Magic Knight Zora. Okay, is he a purple orca, it looks like? Shouts out Zara. That's actually a, such an accomplishment. Good. Really getting like might guy vibes from him and his dad. Hard work beats talent when talent forgets to work hard. I love that saying. Julius? Yeah, you could just tell from seeing him. We all believe in each other. And that's what made Asta made him think of this, you know. <laughs> Super Magic Knight Zora. And then it cuts to the tragic music. It always happens in all these backstories, man. Uh, R.I.P, man. R.I.P Zara. Wait, hold on. What did he just say? He got team killed? Alright, if I was Zora in that situation, 
I'm having a life vengeance. I'm having a vow for the rest of my life. Fuck the nobles. Mmm. I completely understand where he comes from now. Are these the, are these the same two Magic Knights? I don't think so. These are just two different ones. Is he a silver eagle? Yeah. I like how we took the design of the doll his dad made too, you know? He's what a magic knight should be. He protects the people from magic knights and assholes like them, you know? Hey. Protected that lady. That... Yep. Devo uh, he's devoted his whole life to dealing with the corruption and the fucked up nobles and the magic knights all and alike, you know? And he's done a lot of it. And he's saved a lot of people doing it. This is why we got introduced to him. This is where we saw him fuck up Zerks. All the pieces are connecting right now. And it's exactly like his father said. Super Magic Knight who saves people in the background. No one knows what he does, but... Always doing what needs to be done. Mad respect. You people. Yes. Oh my god. That's such a good message. Fuck Langris and fuck all the other Magic Knights like him. Oh my- that felt like it was 30 fucking seconds. What the hell? Oh, one thing I will say in this show. Like, they are really good at showing a character and how his personality is very unique and and fits them personally and then you find out why they're like that and it just makes so much sense you know like i thought the same with real thought the same with zora now especially there's just so many different situations in which you know like ladros uh mars you know just a lot of backstories where you're like oh it makes sense why they're like this and especially when it comes to Zora, he was a nice kid. His dad was a great dude. Uh, I really respected him that he has been trying to be a Magic Knight since he was 15. Failed countless times, but eventually did it. And was still just... And even... He, he probably was very much like you know and Asta going to do those duties. Like he was probably getting made fun of, called a peasant all the time. But he would never take that home. He would just go home and say how dope it is being a Magic Knight, saving people and, and being awesome. And instilling only the best values in his son. And then his son having to learn the hard way. That, man. Oh, R.I.P. Zara, I gotta say that. He was a real one, most definitely. And Zora is also a real one. Doing what needs to be done. Handling corruption, handling these fucked up people. And saving people in the background, in the shadows. And I, I don't know. He had to have, right? Because he literally took the exact design of that doll. That his dad made and rocked with it. It's a fire design. It looks dope. Super Magic Knight Zora. Hmm. Man, it all makes sense now. It all makes sense. And I just, I, I really like how how it related to Asta and that. And like, one, Asta is a peasant, so that's super dope and how it relates to him. But two, Asta, he's like, I don't like Asta, but I don't like Langris more. But Asta did put all of his trust and faith into me, which is exactly what his dad said. We're all out there dodging death on the battlefield, saving people because we all have the utmost trust and faith in each other. And that's how it works out. I love how he, he noted Julian out there, Julius. Nova Chrono out there being just fucking amazing. He's like, that guy is going to go places. <laughs> I love how you can just tell, man, that guy's just a maniac. But fantastic episode. Love the message. I was not expecting it to jump right into this match. I'm going to jump in the right of this next episode. Let me see if I make sure I have any Q&As here on the on the discord if you guys don't know there's a q a section where you can ask me anything and i'll answer it in the episode there is not one right here if you guys ever want to ask me check out that discord i'm about to hop in this next episode don't forget if you guys don't want to wait you guys want early access we are four episodes ahead on patreon check out the links below uh don't forget to follow all the social medias instagram twitch twitter and tiktok i appreciate you guys have a great day tell someone you love them drink some water be safe peace out dapper squad